Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build, and this is episode three of our epic survival games map creation build. Now, as you can see, we've got two islands here and a bridge. Humble beginnings, but we've got the basis of what's going to form our very first survival games map. We're going to build a map for a whole bunch of guys here at the office to play. And if you want to join us on that epic adventure of creation, you can step on over to the Yogscast Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash Yogscast, and you can check out me building up this map block by block. Now we've marked off areas with pink wool, and that pink wool is where we're going to be building the structures. And I did that so that I could make sure not to build trees and put down bone meal on those areas so that it's a lot easier to actually make construction choices. Now also, I told you guys I'd be adding donators' names to the map, and to start off with that, we're going to be building a graveyard this episode. So, first things first, we're going to put the graveyard over here. We've removed the pink wool, and I thought this was a reasonably sized area for a nice, reasonably sized graveyard. We're going to build out of, I think, stone, mossy stone and mossy cobble, just a mix of those things, the first tomb. And it took me a while to get a design I was happy with, using kind of cobblestone steps and stairs and mossy stone. But once I did kind of get what I was looking for, I was pretty happy with it. And I've gone for kind of like a, a peak that kind of edges out at the edge to make it kind of like a crown shape. Now, once again, the texture pack that we're using, I think, is uh, John Smith's, which you can find pretty easily on Google. And we're using shaders as well to make Minecraft just look fabulous. Now, again, some cobblestone steps around the edge of the tomb and a few bits of decoration as well, because with a lot of this map, I wanted it to feel like rundown old ruins, especially with a graveyard. This is a place that is, unfortunately, a little bit neglected by the people that live on this survival games world, which is to say nobody. So it's kind of like a derelict graveyard. But that said, we're not going to make it too derelict because I like the idea of like flowers and hedges. And I, want, I wanted the graveyard to be somewhat pretty, but also a bit kind of neglected as well. That's why the tomb there and the wall as well is made up of a mix of normal cobblestone wall and normal cobblestone and also mossy. And you can see the effect that that has on the building because you haven't overloaded it with mossy textures, but you've put just enough around to make it look like, you know, there's a bit of decay there, a bit of, you know, that those walls could use a bit more washing. Now, I wanted to build a bridge over this kind of small little ditch that we dug before. Initially, this was a bridge that kind of climbed up, but then I realized, hang on a sec, this is a bridge to a graveyard, a small neglected graveyard in the middle of nowhere. So it's not going to be a super impressive, super flashy bridge that people would build here. So using stone brick steps and plain old planks, I built a bridge, just a flat one over this chasm. And then I added these loose fence posts here, and I was going to put some jack-o'-lanterns on here just to light up the bridge. I feel like I put too many though, and so we'll probably be coming back and removing some of these. Oh, but look at those different textures, they look pretty sweet. Now also we dug a hole in the bridge and added a trap because somebody donated and said, hey, how about you put a, a trap on the bridge? And uh, I was like, you know what, absolutely great idea. Now designing the graves was quite tricky. I had to try a few things with different textures and things. And also getting the right gravestone wasn't easy either. But in the end, I used a grave from, I think, uh, Extra NPCs, which is one of the mods that we have for this server. And there you can see kind of like those loose patches of covered ground. And that's where the graves are. But as you can see, they're so overgrown. And it's been so long since people have come to visit these graves that they're a bit kind of, you know, overgrown and just dirt patches on the ground. And then it was time to add a path around the graveyard. And at the moment, this is gravel. But don't worry, it looks a bit messy. And it is something that we're going to be coming back to change in the future. Now, what is that texture that we've used with the dirt that's overgrown with grass on the sides? Well, that is, uh, I think, hardened soil. It's like it's not regular soil. It's the kind of the other soil next to it. And that's the soil that you can put flowers on, like roses and lilacs, like we've done. But it's also a soil that grass won't spread to. And that's really important because when you look at flower beds IRL, they don't have any kind of grass in them. And if they do, it kind of looks a bit wrong. And so we wanted to avoid that. Now, I wasn't sure how to decorate this area at the start of the graveyard. I wanted people to come over the bridge and just have an obvious kind of, hey, look, check this out, this is a graveyard. But I wasn't sure what to put there to kind of mark off this area as a graveyard. I did add that cool fountain in the middle. Well, not really a fountain, more of a pond. 
and we've got those roses and I think they're lilacs and also the leaves that go around the side to make those hedges look pretty cool too. Now there aren't any headstones at the moment, we'll add some soon, but I didn't want to add them just yet because what we're going to be doing is adding a whole bunch of subscriber names and also donator names to those headstones to get some of you guys in the map and part of it so that as people are kind of going around looking for somewhere to hide, they can stop and look at the gravestones and say, hang on a sec, there are names on these gravestones, they can have a look and, uh, and basically see all of the people that helped make it possible to build this map. And now we're in the crypt itself. Now, I looked, I looked at the catacombs in Paris, and I used that loosely as a kind, of, uh, a kind of basis for how I built the crypt underneath here. I made a cool archway effect with uh, some cobblestone steps, and then I copied that several times to get the effect that you see here. But that's not it. I also wanted another entrance to the graveyard, so I built these winding steps around the side up to where we're going to build the main castle. That's right, the flat platform just out of shot, just up there with all the pink wool. That's where we're going to put a big, nice castle to kind of really, that's going to be the big structure of this map. Oh man, I've got to say, I am super happy with how this build is going. Now, honestly, this week, we didn't get that much done. I was engaging with chat and talking to you guys a lot, and uh, that really slowed down the building. It made it more fun, and it meant you guys had a lot more input. Uh, but it definitely slowed me down. And so next week, or rather tonight, I'm going to be trying to push it a bit quicker and uh, and start work on the guard towers around this island. And that's really going to bring the island to life. Apart from that, I'm kind of lost for ideas about what to put on this island. This is going to be a medieval island for sure. It's got a graveyard, it's going to have a castle, and it's going to have guard towers. But there are other places for us to put things, and I'm not quite sure what to put where. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Build, and make sure you come and check out what we're doing on the live stream. Until next time, guys, take care.